Well, folks, we got some surprise nerfs and buffs announced earlier today. A little bit of a meta shakeup here. It's kind of surprised by this one. I think we're heading into a new expansion before too long. It's probably in the next month or so. We just got the mini set, but apparently it didn't do quite enough to shake up uh, what Blizzard was hoping for for the meta. So we're going to get some changes instead. Uh, kicking things off here with Razor Main Battle Guard for Druid. He's going to go down to two health instead of three. And uh, I think this is definitely the most power level focused nerf that we're going to talk about in this video. Some are more kind of for feel, I think. But this one's because Tauntra is a really powerful deck. And of course, Razor Main Battle Guard is a big part of that power level, allowing you to cheat out uh, some crazy taunts, often, you know, getting multiple copies with oracles and just swarming early boards more than most any deck can really keep up with. That's why it's the number one deck in the game right now according to win rate and uh, by pushing into two this makes it more susceptible to various kinds of early removals or even uh, some mid-game catch-up tools you know suddenly this dies to ranker this dies to touch of the nath regime. uh it's just gonna go away a little bit easier you know and when that's duplicated across multiples of these as is the case sometimes uh that can add up to a lot so sort of a small change it seems like in some ways but this will give that one deck here and there that slight edge to clear this thing when they wouldn't otherwise have been able to, particularly if this is played sort of preemptively as a setup, you know, it might be easier for them to pick this sucker off. All of which means, you know, that deck loses a little bit of strength. I think Taunt Druid will remain very powerful. Uh, it has a lot of good things going for it and has a great win rate right now uh, compared to the rest of the meta. So I don't think this kills Taunt Druid at all. It just keeps it a little bit more in check, which for me, uh, I think that's a really good change because it's a very strong deck. All right, so next up here is Garot Rogue. Uh, it's going to only shuffle two bleeds into your deck instead of three bleeds. So uh, at a base level here, you know, you're just losing two damage. It doesn't sound like a ton. But of course, in Garot Rogue builds that are all about setting up this combo with a bunch of spell damage shenanigans uh, where you're stacking all this spell damage and then getting each of these bleeds hitting for a lot, this is going to be a pretty... Uh, substantial damage nerf overall to that deck's output, which means in many cases they won't be able to get the damage thresholds needed to beat certain other decks. Um, I don't know Garot Rogue well enough to tell you if this completely kills the card or not, uh, but you know certain things like Control Warriors might more easily be able to armor out of range of this. Now, this nerf is uh, kind of a mixed bag when it comes to power level versus feel, because... If you're playing at lower ranks, you probably don't think a Rogue is a huge power level problem. It's like tier three at best, I think. And like uh, even in Diamond, I think it's tier three and it just gets worse the lower the rank you are. So you probably don't run into it a lot. When you do, it might feel very bad to lose, but people aren't very good at piloting it. So you don't lose all that often. On the other hand, the very highest levels of play, so top legend, grandmasters, tournament level, all that, Garot Rogue is very, very powerful. People execute it perfectly, and it's a great deck. So this pulls down that cap of the power level of this deck at very high levels of play, which is probably great for the people there who don't play Rogue, who are sick of this. I've heard some pros say, oh, I'm sick of Garot Rogue, let's nerf it. That satisfies this. I also think it actually makes us feel a little bit better for people at lower ranks who just occasionally run into this crazy burst damage combo. Losing like on turn seven or eight from crazy pop off like this never feels great. So I think this actually satisfies two different problems in a, in a rather nice way. And it doesn't completely murder the card for like normal use cases, if you will. So I'm actually uh, pretty happy with this change as well. These nerfs so far are surprisingly good. Uh, moving on here to Dawngraft. Now, this one is going to be super divisive, I think, because the thing about Quest Mage is if you don't play Quest Mage, I think you almost universally hate Quest Mage. <laughs> like, I, I personally, I do not enjoy playing against Quest Mage. People like Kibler have been very outspoken. They think Quest Mage is, like, awful to play against, ruining the meta, perhaps. Uh, it's the sentiment I hear out there a lot. Uh... Uh, now, if you play Quest Mage, it seems like you love it. It's like the best thing ever. You love playing Quest Mage. Oh my God, it's so much fun. I get to play 40 cards and my opponent only plays one or two. So people who, who love and enjoy Quest Mage are going to be sad by this change. Uh, it's not a super powerful deck, Quest Mage. It's, it's kind of low tier two, just barely over 50% win rate from Diamond to Legend. So, you know, one could argue you didn't need a nerf from a power level standpoint. That's a very reasonable argument. But a lot of other people would say, this is so miserable to play against, my god, let's kill the popularity of this deck a little by making it a hair weaker. So this might, say, move Quest Mage from, like, Tier 2 to Tier 3, which will, in turn, reduce uh, the popularity of the deck, hopefully, and that solves some of this bad feelings everybody else has. 
Now, I don't, again, play enough quest mage to tell you exactly how this is going to kill the deck. I, I think there's still plenty of inevitability that this will scratch the itch that many people want from quest mage. Sp two damage, spell damage is still a lot. It's still going to stack up. It's still going to offer, you know, infinite ignites. Like, there's still plenty of ways to win the game. I think it'll just very occasionally give opponents maybe, like, one more turn of breathing room before the fireballs or the ignites end the game which might let them heal or give them a chance to get some damage out. So, you know, it just lowers the win rate a little, but feels perhaps less inevitable and, you know, reduces popularity, which is probably the main goal, I would suspect, of a change like this one. So hopefully Quest Mage players can still have fun doing all the crazy spamming of spells and stuff, but everybody else gets a little bit of a reprieve, a little bit of a breather from the oppressive damage that this deck can, can really pump out. Uh, let me know what you think, though. So many people are going to say, kill the quest mage. So many others will say, I love my quest mage. I'm so sad. I think I think you're both great. So hopefully you can both come away with this uh, feeling okay. And then finally, a buff. We got one buff here for the last card. Renew, going from two mana to one mana, going back to its original state. Remember, it got nerfed uh, in the previous meta when Control Priest was feeling oppressive and there was all kinds of crazy Discover stuff out there. And uh, you know what? At the time, I thought that was great. Priest felt really hard to play against with all the healing and discover and just random generation. It's not the case anymore. Priest is not doing that as well. Decks have refined win conditions. You know, randomly generating stuff is not as powerful as it used to be. So giving some power back to this card to me feels completely reasonable. I don't think this will make Priest awful or break Priest just because they have to compete with things like Quest Warlocks and Quest Mages and, and combo decks, and Rogue Rogues and Demon Hunters, and all these things that end games very reliably so putting a little power and tempo back into renew totally reasonable change as far as i'm concerned uh and in fact I, i'm happy for it i like i like playing slower greedier you know healy style decks so i might even play a little priest again here with this nice renew change so all in all i gotta say for me all four of these are pretty good changes i, I think i'm pretty happy with with all of them i haven't really thought about like other changes i might have requested or thought about but as far as how these deliver, I think I'm happy. That's it. I'm, I'm curious uh, what you guys think. What is your, what is your take? I'm gonna maybe nerf Face Hunter, I guess, as I as I look at uh, win rates. Maybe pull Pirates back just a hair. Like those are the two things that come to mind. But I, I don't think it's crazy. So anyway, share your thoughts on these uh, changes in the comments below. Always curious to hear your takes. That said, thanks much as always for watching, and uh, until next time, game on.